join me at some sheep yards and there's this nice old building I thought I might just vlog this um yeah because I feel like it's nice to document what's actually out here you know um it's quite special out here sure the weather and the conditions aren't ideal but um it's still fantastic but yeah look at this old farmhouse um I'm forgetting it's a farmhouse um there is some information I'll go to that side in a minute but let's have a little look around this place how cool is this that by the way is a fridge here's the fire how cool does that look so this is the back of the fire we're gonna have a little look around so I've done a couple of stories on Instagram but I just wanted to do something on here so this looks like where a rainwater tank was it would make sense and this would have been looking at the size of it it would have been a pretty big tank so it probably got like three meters across maybe four meters in, in uh, diameter um, yeah, or in the span, and this probably would have held maybe 10,000 litres, maybe 15,000 litres. This roofing down here, I think is lead, no that's, that's steel, yeah that's steel, that roof there. But over here we've got some lead roof, we've got a lead roof, so this is earlier. Um, but yeah, before we go to that, this all that's mortar is slowly coming out of it as you can see and I suspect this was rendered if it's like this here and what this is I mean um yeah covered in this and this is lime mortar the way I can tell it's just the way it, it's just the way it crumbled it, this is just falling off by the way so yeah you can tell and I can just break it up in my hands that's what lime mortar is like and yeah it's got this certain smell to it and um, yeah it's got the nice feel as well it makes your hands quite soft where our normal cement is um, yeah it's not like that so yeah this is very old but it's not going to stand for much longer looking at it there is a big crack in it you can see this is starting to shift that way you can see it coming down through here big one there you can sort of see daylight through there but yeah it's uh, not doing too bad yeah, you can sort of see it was plastered on here as well. Really quite nice. Actually, that feels like more modern concrete there. A little bit hollow behind there. Yeah, this is the lead roof. Yeah, this is lead. I can tell because I can easily move it just like that. I'm surprised no one's pinched this, but I guess people have got still got morals these days. And here, what I suspect could be a water heater. The reason why is one, we've got this opening here, which looks like a nice little door, which would have been fastened on at some stage at some point. Got this big metal ring down here, I reckon this might have been a barrel, perhaps. If you if you know what this is. Or you got a suspicion? Let me know in the comments. I'm, try I'm working. I'm trying to work out if it is because I've got this nice big bolt hole where a recessed uh, screw or no, um, maybe it might have been panel beater. But there's no. I mean, like a yeah, it could be a nail. I don't know. Um, and then we have got this another screw there, another hole there, and another hole there. I suspect. I don't know if I can lift this thing. Oh no, that's way too heavy. But yeah, let's have a look in here. So these are handmade bricks by the look of it. And yeah, we've got this barrel in here. And what makes me think it's uh, something you heat up is just the way it's constructed and the way it's built. And this coming out here. Yeah, it's quite interesting. And over here, maybe this is where, I don't know, well maybe there was a toilet. There would have been an outside toilet some, somewhere. We've just got a load of rabbit warrens around here by the look of it. Yeah, that looks like a rabbit warren. Got some old bits of wood here. Should have got something here. I should better be careful with this because this could be asbestos, knowing the age of this place. Yeah, 
I wonder what this is. Could this be a foundation for a toilet? Some other bricks over there. Not too sure. Some nice bits of old wood. So this must have had like a veranda sort of thing. So yeah, but it has some sort of veranda by the look of it. Not very big because we're going off of this pillar here. And this is made, this was a later addition going by the, the concrete. That's actually cement. Had a nice little wall going through there. Jeez, this was actually quite a big little place because there's still more to it there. So entrance looks like it's here. You'd walk through here, you'd have a little area probably for a little bench and a table where you could just drop your stuff off. You'd walk through here and you'd be into your kitchen. Now a lot has fallen down here. So yeah, this looks quite a, a substantial bit of rockery here. But it could have fallen from there and this wall here. So, so I reckon it's probably come in this way and it's also come in from that side as well. Very cool. And it would have also had a low bearing wall which would have been timber. It's quite fascinating. Well, there's uh, some material down here. More concrete. I wonder if that's what it was lined in. So it's like a, like a render as well. But yeah, here's the fridge. Let's see what's in here. So, as you can see, big old fridge. I think it opens. Yes, it does. Wow, it's still got the lining and everything. That could be asbestos there. Wooden lining. Rubber door seal right there, by the look of it. Staples. No, the latch doesn't work anymore. Wow, look at that. Oop. That is awesome. I don't know what this is. Some sort of condenser in there. Maybe maybe that might be where you put your ice cubes, I don't know. Did they have ice cubes back then? It looks like you've got a little meat hook or something there. So you can take that shelf out and have a little bit of meat. I don't think I can open this one up. And no, that one's stuck, unfortunately. Spider's made its home here. How cool is this? Very nice. Oh, I'm trying to put my way around here. Very nice, and a very nice green as well. Very solid. And here's our fire, or our cook, where we would have cooked our stuff. Well, that's still. <laughs> that is so cool. Looks like a part of the flue has come down. Yeah, that would be the flue for the... Up there. What does that look like up there? Oh yeah, chimney. Well, you can see all the... Uh, the plaster and everything would have come off there. It's coming off there. This was painted red by the look of it. A nice bit of colour to it. So this is really something that... This is really something that people cared about. What I'm going to do after I've done this uh, bit of video, I'm going to get my camera out and take some photos. But um, yeah, we've got some pretty nasty weather looking like we're heading towards us. So we've got this rain bank right over there, and then got an amazing rain bank just over there. Yeah, let's have a little look around here before we go to the sign and see what it actually says about this place. It looks like we probably had maybe a window there, wall here, another window there. Oh yeah, you can see it. So you can see at one stage, the wall had been like this and then it just flopped straight over. And I'll show you why. So 
So my reasoning for that is look at the window opening. Look at that through there. It's just gone smack. So cool. So you think this is a floor surface, but it's not. I'm actually standing on a wall. And this looks like it could have been the top plate. So this would have gone on top of the uh, on top of the wall, bolted in, and then you've had your rafters going across. Um, yeah, there looks like another maybe a lintel or part of a window here. Let's have a look. Don't know what that is. Some sort of nail. some rebar in there yeah this looks like it also fell down at the same time so yeah, there seems to be some sort of opening there fixed wall another opening there or it could have just been I don't know it's pretty hard to know now there's a sign near my car I'm gonna have a little look see if this will tell me what it is so I have not looked at this whatsoever We've got a rainwater tank. Um, yeah, this was a later addition, and we had a big rainwater tank next to it. As you can see, where it's all where it all was. Rendered brickwork. Right there, you can see, plastered. Not really too much there. There's a window here. Can't really make out too much. It looks like maybe a door there. So that would sort of line up. It's really hard to tell. I can see a chimney stack there. But yeah, that's a. That was in the 1970s so it's still standing in the 1970s and that explains the brickwork why we've got modern materials or modern-ish materials you know concrete and mixed in with lime mortar so i'm just gonna have a little look over at this one hope you're finding this interesting guys i just wanted to document it because um it's just amazing i mean i not many people will come out here to experience it so i want to bring you along on this thing so yeah, it's just it's just nice it's a nice little thing to do Oh, another little rainwater tank over there. You might be able to see there. Okay, now we're going into the shearing area. So, oh, this is a swimming pool. Let's have a little look at this. Right, so we've got... What makes... Okay. Well, I... Yeah. It says there's a swimming pool. Here's some information about it. You can pause it on the screen now. So you can read that. Locals at the swimming pool. Well, oh, that's cool. But we're a fair away from that. That's all the way over there. Or maybe it's near the top there. I can sort of see something right off in the distance there. That's cool. All right, let's have a look. So we've got something that has sheet metal on the outside of it. Um, not sure what this was. Maybe this was the pool. I don't know, it's... Hang on, there's another plaque over here. This will give us a bit of context to what this area is. Okay, so this is dedicated Catholics. Um, you're going to read that one. Cover I'm not very good at reading, so I'll let you read that. I've, um, yeah. Oh, so we've got these nice pillars. I suspect this might have been a car. Well, what have we got? Maybe a wooden frame car? That looks like a differential. Or part of one. Yeah, we do have a car. So... This is differential. Jeez, that's seen better days, hasn't it? Wow, so cool though. This feels like a graveyard, a car graveyard. Oh yeah, it's definitely a car. Here is the head gasket. Because you've got where the coolant would go through here. Yeah. Where the coolant would go, you've got your pistons, and that might be the uh, oil, or maybe it could be the um, 
Conrods. Is it Conrods for the valve timing? So it must have been, yeah, going up to the rocker cover. That's, I'm not sure what that is. And there seems to be something here. Wheat, something? Yeah, interesting. Feels like a car graveyard, but I don't know. What do I have here? Something to identify this thing with? That looks probably something so sort of electrical. This might have been for anti-roll bar. If they had that back then. And then that would be clamped onto your chassis, maybe. Really hard to know, I'm just speculating right now. There's odd bits and pieces in here. This one doesn't make sense. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, there's odd bits and pieces in here. Bits that don't belong. We've also got part of a cup by the look of it. Old porcelain. So yeah, let's have a little look around here. Sheep wire. So that, yeah, some sheep wire on here. Um, or chicken mesh, I think they call it. Um, then that would have been cladded. So the concrete is something to stick to. That's what all that is. More stone rocks, or more stone walls. I don't know, maybe this might have been a bit of a church, I don't know. There's nothing, no photo reference to this. Another wall that's fallen down. Let's walk over the fallen wall. That's cool, they've pushed the rocks up there. A bit more sloppy. I don't think this was... I think this may be built by the church or something. The craftsmanship in here is very poor. It looks like they had a very runny mix. They shouldn't have had it that runny. Yeah, interesting. So now we're at the cattle area. Maybe this is a part of the, ca the cattle area. I don't know because of the where the rocks were. But here's the sheep area. Where would have guided the sheep through? Jeez, this would have taken some work. Getting these big things up. Yeah, giving you a sense of scale. Yeah, that is pretty big. This place is pretty special. I'm glad I came here. Coming out my way. Just to come here. Yeah, this is where the sheep would have been funneled. They would have come in from, they would have come from there, come through here, funneled into this area. Now I've done a bit of farming in the past and they would have come through here and this is where they single them down. You come through this tiny little gap here, as you can see. Just get nice and slow for you. Well, it's getting very narrow. I think some of the rocks have fallen away because now it's just gone into nothing. But maybe this is where a bigger pen would have been. And then they could cull them. But yeah, this is lovely. There's three rocks right here. Probably get a photo of that with my Fuji. I think that's about it really for this area. There is an information sign over here. I'll get some metal for the bench. Might bring my car over here and have a little look. Have some breakfast. Here is a little bit of information about this spot. Well, you can sort of see it. So this was 
So that's the house. Well, you can sort of see how it was. So it did have a, a patio area. It was quite a big, big place. There was another rainwater tank there. Don't know when this photo was taken. So yeah, the house where the kettle cattle would have gone through. Yep, so they would have come through this area. There's the pen. They would have come from there, come from the big field, come through there, funneled through that little area we walked through, and then probably funneled into the, another big area where they would have been all waiting. And yeah, there is some sort of structure right there. Maybe that was a part of a farm. Maybe somewhere where they kept their equipment. Maybe that's what it was. We've got that silo over there, which we walked past. Another barn. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Some writing about this place. Ted and Anne, in years later, after they had left the district. I always find this fast stuff fascinating. Photo. This uh, this photo uh, used on the postcard Ted sent to Anne in nineteen seventy in nineteen thirteen. Wow. Just a tent. It's white something white on the box there. He's got his dog. Got a friend there. Another friend. Wooden cart in the background there. I'll try and read this, otherwise just pause here. Dearest Annie, these cars were a failure. I'm writing just to show you uh, some of my unhappy my some of my unhappy home. My sleeping qualities are not shown. The only thing to show uh, prosperity is the sheep uh, hanging in the shed. Hanging in the shed? That, yeah, wow. Um, the, the small man uh, was my, my employee and the black dog um, was an uninvited visitor. The rest, the rest belongs, um, the rest belongs to something yours only, Ted. So that was his employee, oh sorry, that was his employee, and that's the stray dog that came. You can see some chickens in the background there. Wow. Yeah, that would have been quite hard. Look that way, wow. Yeah, I always find these things very interesting. And uh, all around us is private property, so I can't go anywhere. I'm stuck on this area. Yeah, I'm probably going to bring my car back over here in a minute. Take some photos with my Fuji. And uh, you can have a look at these at the end of the photo, uh, at the end of this video. I just wanted to bring you along on this little one. So, a little different, a little bit of... Uh, maybe a, a, a documenting this area. Um, yeah, just beautiful. Yeah, the swimming pool must have been up on that wall, up on that ridge up there somewhere. So the water gathered off the rocks. They would build a wall around it, and that'd be the way of cooling off. And yeah, this looks like, and there's this metal wheel thing here. I don't know if it's this was a part of a. I feel like a, a tractor or something. Maybe it's a steam steam powered tractor. It would have been for something back then. I bet the bearings are better than my car. I think there might be some bearings in there. I'm not going to put my hand in there. Yeah, all right. Anyway, I'm going to make my way back to my car. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the photos that I'm going to take. And uh, yeah, just something different. I yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is going to get many views or you know, many people are going to like it, but this is history and you know this is what I'm going to do as well on this channel. It's not just about photography, this is also a part of the journey. And it might be man made, but it's history and this thing isn't going to last much longer. Probably in another 50 years' time, everything will rust away, or maybe another 100 years' time. 
But yeah, that chimney's definitely not going to last longer, you remember, on the uh, fireplace. So, yeah. Anyway, going to grab my, um, my camera and take some photos with the Fuji X-D4. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the photos.